All right. Let's go visit Takamura. Ow. I was just wanting to see what this is. No. Oh, interesting. The hair event. I didn't press that. that <laughs> I didn't press Z in time. God damn. It is good to see you, B. Seems pretty, uh secluded here it is appropriate for such a secret meeting what the hell happened look close to awful you see a man robbed of his implants money and dignity look well it is not all bad i am mostly unnoticed in the streets we're here Implants trackable, or did you sell them for, like, money? Friend you mentioned here? Oda? He should be here any moment now. Willing finally to give me the spec on him? He's Hanako-sama's bodyguard. Hanako Arasaka's? From the carrier at Anchor in the Bay? Saburo's daughter? Yes, and if he believes you, we'll next meet with her. Just hope he doesn't blindly follow Arasaka protocol. What protocol? Unwritten rules. Had him here in Night City. Could be different in Japan. If IA got even a whiff of treason, they'd prep an enhanced interrogator and send two elite squads with air support to grab the suspect. I understand the point you seek to make. But if Oda has ulterior motives, he will need no elites, no air support, no one but himself. Trust me, I have seen him work. Mm. That's supposed to be reassuring? If it helps you stay calm, you can gaze at the sky. Okay. By car, huh? A good sign. He's usually camouflaged. Is he the one driving his car? Oh, okay, that's probably a good sign. Takemura san. Oda. Is this her? Your thief. She's my witness, V. Can speak for myself, you know. So speak. I have been told you know things. Was there? Saw what happened. Yorinobu strangled the old guy. Silence! Not one word more. You will bring death to your door. I already did. But it is the truth. Hanako-sama must hear it. My one concern is to keep her safe in this city forgotten by the gods. Is she in danger? Now? No. Yet during the parade to honor Arasaka-sama. Most certainly. I bring you this witness to his murder. And you dare to worry about the silly parade? Fool! Correct. Unlike you, I have not yet failed to keep my oath to do my duty. You will regret those words. The only thing I regret is that I came here to meet you. There is a price on your head. I do you a favor now by not cutting it off and taking it straight to Yorinobu Summer. What would you do now were you in my place? I do no favors. I would deliver you ahead to Yorinobu Summer. Consider yourself lucky that I am not you. Oda, you, you are an Arasaka soldier. 
This is not a request. We remind you of your duty to be truthful to your superiors. I did not come here to be lectured to by a thief. <laughs> it wasn't always what I am now. And your friend here didn't always look like a bum. Feel free to join us. Plenty of room at the bottom of the heap. Not enticed? Then do your duty. Tell Hanako what nobody else wants to hear. That should be to him. As you say, food of all thought. Just gotta tell it like it is sometimes. It is a shame. Nothing will come of it. How come? <laughs> it should have been obvious. Oda is a perfectionist. He most fears to make a mistake. Good fucking riddance. One hour soccer whack job is already plenty. Find friend there. Got any more? Alas, only him. Well, we tried. Well, can't say we didn't try. We tried, yes, and obtained something useful. Hmm, how do you figure that? What Oda said. They return to Tokyo after the parade. Do you not see the parade? It is our chance, perhaps. If somehow we can get to Hanako-sama, we must do a proper reconnaissance first. We'll need a precise map of Japan Town. Hold on. It is your turn to call on friends. Do you know a fixer who could help? Well, as I say, Wakako well, probably. No, just the fixer, Dame. Wakako Okada. Runs a pachinko parlor on Jig Jig Street. We must pay this woman a visit. Will you join me? Yeah, of course. Sure, why not? Oh, you mean like ride in the car with you? Oh, shit. Uh, yeah, all right, fine. I was just thinking, I think I'm doing things a little bit more out of order than the way I did it. I think I was doing this last. That was, that was the last thing I did in 2020. <laughs> JJ Street. What is this name? Just a night city name. Beware, you mock me too often. <laughs> Sorry, buddy. I like to have fun. You all right, Goro? Yes. Why the sudden concern? Hmm. Uh, just asking. Does everything with you have to have an ulterior motive? I apologize. That came off wrong. I am... I am simply not used to such questions. People like me, either we are doing well, or we are in a grave. <laughs> Uh, I feel that. All right. Well, what's going on at Arasaka? Any idea what's going on at Arasaka? Only what I can surmise from what I see on TV. Yorinobu and his puppets grin at the cameras and insist that everything is under control. But the wider the smile, the bigger the lies. Damn, he's gonna be looking like the Cheshire Cat then. I got speeding. Hog. Where's my wheel? Give me a little side wheel to fuck around with too. I can fidget with it. Or take over the car myself. Classy stuff though you've got here. Are we pulling in? Sure, starting to feel like we're going down into a shady underground area. Hey, those are the people who killed me before. All right. 
right. I'll talk to Wakako. Maybe. Uh, my my trigger figure is itching. You asshole. Don't rub me. Dirt eating, no good bastard, son of a bitch. Stop right there. What? Oh, hey, honey. Hey, honey. What All right, come on, Takamura. Yeah, I was looking at my saves before uh, this session, and my last save is one of my last saves is literally standing in front of Wakako <laughs> but then there's like all this other shit that we haven't done so I <laughs> we'll see rogue my sweet this has got to be a misunderstanding I have no idea who jumped your team but the claws? No, never. My boys know their place. I, I, I'm sorry, got to go. I have guests. V, so nice to see you. And your charming friend is? Happen to be working together, that's all. Takemura Goro this. Okada-san. Ah, a true gentleman. Ah, oh, shame only that he's being hunted by all Arasaka's tin soldiers. And you, V, bring him to my door. Give me one reason why I shouldn't notify the proper authorities right away. Caution. Caution? World's most wanted Japanese fugitives hiding out in Night City, and you got nothing to do with it? Please. We know they're thinking. They'll link you to us faster than you can finish puffing on that sig. So tell me, and mark well I still have my phone at hand. Need intel on the parade that's scheduled to come through Japantown. So it's Arasaka. Again. What I fail to understand is, why come to me? Did Mr. Deshawn not come to the phone? Yeah. <laughs> Goro, remind me why Dex's fat, backstabbing ass is currently indisposed. He is deceased. Butchered and dumped at a landfill by some Arasaka goon. Real shame that. That a threat I detect? No threat. No. Asked why I couldn't reach Dex. I answered. Just facts. Nothing more. Good. Cause you would then have to join him. I don't Okada think your guards are gonna act fast enough to pull our guns out honorable. here. We need just information. It is a matter of life and death. Everything's on the shards. How much does this cost? My pockets are empty. Clearly. My gift to you. It's free. Okada-san, what is free often proves most costly. Gonna take them or not? For free. You sure? Got my reasons. But patience, I got none. All right. Heard. Take the shard. Japan Town. Whole district is to be sealed off for the parade. Dashi platforms, the main attraction. They'll fly this way, high above street level. Along the parade route, balconies, footbridges, and vantage points affording good views. Hanako Arasaka, the guest of honor, will deliver her speech from the largest float. She'll do this exactly here. Got no idea about security, but given recent events, expect it to be tight. Our last parade? Arasaka undercovers infiltrated the crowd. Not to mention a smattering of sharpshooters, drones. And if that's not enough fun for one day, a net runner. 
one at least. They use the city CCTV to observe everything. Main access point, here. It's an old automated control center. If you ask me, most useful by far. At the end, the floats will float out of Japantown and we'll be left with trash up to our elbows that no one will collect. That's it. It's all I have. It must be enough. Then go. Be on your way. Thanks, Wakako. We appreciate this, Okada-san. Oh, that was lucky that she had a whole ass presentation ready for something that, you know, <laughs> we just kind of happened to come on by for. A delightful, mature woman. This information, it could be just what we need. But I will try to investigate further. I will stay here sometime and call some associates. The moment I learn something new, I will let you know. Thanks. Stay safe. Stay safe, Goro. You as well. Until next time. All right. I was if if he had said if he had said differently, I would have been all in. I would have been ready to just do the the float mission right here, right now. But since he's told me to wait. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll go off to do the Ghost Town mission instead. Huh? Ow, what the- No, not again! Stop looking at me! Sonic Shock! Stop fucking throwing smart bullets at me! <sighs> I'm in cover for a reason. <laughs> Stop circumventing it. Engineer, we're about to get a perk point from engineer stuff. What do we got here? Some money and a conversation. I'm here. Bartender says Maelstrom threatened him. He didn't have a choice. They just barged in and told him to start pouring. Said he had to. Yeah, well, he could have called. This is our turf. Says he can't, or says he couldn't. He was scared. But he wasn't scared of us. Says he didn't tell him a thing. Yeah, of course he didn't. He doesn't know shit. What could he? So maybe we let him go? I mean, what else was he supposed to do? This is our fucking turf! He should have called us instead of throwing a fucking party. Beat his ass! It's the principle of the fucking thing. <laughs> he should have known better, damn it. Judy. Hey, Judy, what's up? Hey. Can you come over, Stat? Something happened? Yeah. Just come. Yeah, alright. I'm on my way. I was going up with Judy. I don't remember. Uh oh. <laughs> I can't fucking move. <laughs> I'm literally. <laughs> My car's been hijacked! 
And then <laughs> All right. Well, I was going to drive there for the drama, but I guess I will just fast travel there instead. <laughs> I got stopped so fucking abruptly. <laughs> Full pedal to the metal and blat. Hostile netrunners may use their allies or cameras as proxies. Yeah, that that has happened to us a couple of times. Enemy netrunners are scary. Hey! Yeah, you're lucky you don't got a crime record. Joe Teal's down home. Too good to waste. Ugh. Easy beef. So fresh it wriggles in your mouth. Ew. No. Judy. Oh. In the bathroom. <gasps> oh, Bird shit. Offs herself to express her undying gratitude to you for saving her ass. What the fuck? Stop talking. I was only gone an hour. Gotta do something with her. <laughs> Don't want any trouble. I'm calling the badges. Can you carry her to the bed? As if that'll change anything. What the fuck? Not sure we should move her before the badges get here. She's just another dead whore to them. Nope, you'll care. The least we could do is treat her with some dignity. What the fuck? What the fuck? Yeah, I, I need to report an accidental death. North side, Jackson Street. No. No imminent danger. <laughs> Suicide. Tomorrow? No! Today! What part of dead don't you understand? No, she was not pronounced dead by trauma team. If she'd have had coverage, we wouldn't be talking. And fuck you. If you don't want to move your asses, why don't I come down to the precinct and trash it into bits? Now will you come and arrest me, you pussies? I... Fine, I don't give a fuck what you write me up for. <sighs> They'll be here soon. <laughs> told me to keep her on ice until tomorrow. Can you believe the balls? All things considered, you let them off pretty light. Had it been me, they'd have gotten an earful like nobody's biz. I, I fucking put something on her. I'd rather she look like a person than a body. Could you wait outside? Yeah, she is this. Oh, what the... Close the door, V. Please. Yeah. I... I... What the fuck? <sighs> Bum a cig. Didn't know you smoked. <sighs> Quit. It's been years. But right now I need something besides air in my lungs. Please, V, just one. Yeah, yeah, here you go. Fine, here. That was her smoke case. Wanna hold on to it? No. You seem to like it. Keep it. Kind of glad it's you that has it, actually. Fuck it. 
heavy. I let her down. I thought if I gave her some t space or time, she'd get back on her feet. That's what I thought. I can't wrap my head around it. Never saw Evelyn as the type to give up. Come on. What she went through? I wouldn't call it giving up. Her condition... Couldn't think about anything else. Tech-wise, she was clean. Doll Shard was operational, uncorrupted. So... Psychological trauma. Had to be that. Did some more digging in her virtues. Found Woodman. He kept her. And had his way with her. The things he did. And once he got bored, he pawned her off. What did Woodman do to her? Did you see it? Yeah. And I really wish I could unsee it. Wait, so you found other recordings? Had another look at the corrupted ones. You know, lots of static. Hard to pick up anything, really. At some point, I stumbled on something like an echo of the spat we'd had last time we saw each other. But I know she wasn't scrolling. And why was it saved as a virtue? Got no explanation for it. Maybe she recalled it later, relived it, almost. Implant could have been on when, you know, as a defense mechanism, escaping into the past so as not to live in the present. I had no idea that guy was such a monster. Saw him as your average Trixie sleazebag. It puts on a convincing facade. I knew him, but I never thought him that sick in the brain. I'll take him out right fucking now. Point the way. Gotta be something I can do about it. Like what? Don't know yet. Think I'll call Sue's. Thanks, V. Sorry, but uh, I'd rather be alone now. Promise to keep in touch. Sure you don't need anything? No, but sweet of you to ask. Anything comes up, holler on the hollow. I... I don't... <sighs> Damn it. I, I didn't... I don't think I... I don't think this happened last time that I played. I think, uh, just like... The order of things that I was doing managed to like not like have this happen. Or at least I don't fucking recall this at all. And fuck, I really thought that maybe Evelyn would come around, and then we'd talk to her again. And you know, maybe able to help her out. Uh, fuck. Yeah, that just really caught me off guard, too, just because of, like, well, I mean, just outright. It didn't happen last time. In terms of, like, his timing, everything, it, I guess just because I've just I've done things in such a weird order this time around. Because technically I've done more. I've technically done more main mission stuff, I think, than last time. Right? Like, because... I think beforehand I did the ghost town, afterlife, talk to rogue shit. And I just did that like entirely. And obviously like I had saved, I think I saved Evelyn first. Then I went and did the ghost town shit. And then I talked to Takamura. But this time around I've done like a few like side job stuff. Then talk to, Mur or talk to Takamura before ever doing like the ghost town talk. So it was just they just shuffled that forward. That or I really did just forget it. It, it could be impossible. I feel like I would have remembered, but uh, fuck, it's not. I don't know. We're taking some people out.
Dude, Evelyn really did get fucked over. And I think, like, a lot of the stuff that happened to her, I, I, like, I'm not fully sure, but it seems like every- the way that everything's been presented is, like, everything... Like, super bad that happened to her, happened to her, like, in that, like, week or so that V was, like, incapacitated from getting shot in the fucking face. So, like, god damn. We tracked down the scratch. It's safe. Where? Uh, down at the station. Guy carrying it was white. How was we supposed to know? Don't think you understand the fucking game, pig! Relax! I'll, I'll take care of everything. Kaboom. When? Two days. Stop. All I gotta do is go to the station, and I... Chase. All you gotta do is not fuck it up. Cause your salary sure as hell won't cover scratch like that. Hey, buddy, listen. You probably should have walked away. Beat cop, huh? Wrong place, pal. That's all it comes down to. You shouldn't have been fucking one a dirty cop, but also two a dirty cop just still down the street with a bunch of wanted criminals in Night City. Hello, V. Wakado Okada. You do not think she will betray us? Uh, you have nothing to worry about. Unlike me. Where are you? V. I am in Kabuki. I have two questions. Okay. How could anyone call this filthy slum Kabuki? Kabuki is a form of art. I will let you know shortly. <laughs> Thanks, Goro. Let me know if, uh... Let me know if I can be of help. I may take you up on that offer, but for now, I will manage alone. Your time will come. Thanks, Takamura. I'll talk to you soon, I suppose. Uh-oh. Don't shoot me, idiot! Shut the fuck up! <laughs> oh no! I'm hit! We have so many like assault rifle mod things, but I don't I haven't been using assault rifles at all. I'm just not specced for it. Hey, didn't I level up? I did. Okay. Uh what am I gonna go towards? Because then I can, I can either do exactly, you know, do what I did with the, the cool stat, go all in, get up to the 20 area. I don't really care too much about, like, this. But this might be nice. It allows you to exceed your side work capacity by up to 50 points at the cost of 0.5% max health per point. Then this is also pretty good. Plus 10% to all side work stat modifiers. So that means we get 20% with that. Unlock cellular ad adapter to the side work. Blech. Unlock cellular adapter cyberware for the integumary system. It can be purchased and installed at Ripper Clinics. This perk is required to use it properly. What the fuck does that mean? Is it just another slot? Could just be another slot. That's what it ends up feeling like. Yeah, fuck it. We'll go to tech point at least 15. I don't think I need to go to like 20. 
any like time soon, but I'd be down. Well, maybe we'll see how this goes, but I could go towards Bolt eventually and that'd be useful. Even just for like the plus one, 20% charge speed for tech weapons. But I want, I want level two as well. Oh, wait. I've also got a perk point to spend. Uh... Mm... Driver update. So I can get this and then I'll grab Health Freak. got a clothing store above me. I might check that out. Wait. I think I see a couple of enemies. Purple items over here. What do we got? Ah, oh, it's just a money shard. Damn. They got me excited for nothing. All right, what kind of shaft do we got out here? Oh, you know. How's life? Isn't that Tiger Claw ink? Since when do gangers sell threads? Since one of their bosses decided that they don't need tombs with fucked up spines. Well... Got any nice threads for me? If thrift falls into your definition of nice, then sure. Hey, you know, sometimes people pawn off some nice looking items. Ooh, well, huh. Free armor, basically. Old military helmet. Oh, ew. God, that thing's like, it's ugly. I think I might grab this. Vis you know, negative 5% visibility to enemies, and then the... Oh, wait, okay, I, <laughs> I got this wrong. I looked at this and I thought I was getting armor out of it. I just have armor on, period. That works for me. I just thought I was doubling down. Get like a... Inner torso armor. Oh, this is kind of cute. Second conflict cutout bodysuit. For you, Carrie, you're a die nuts. Aw, Carrie. Mm, I think if I'm going to end up getting anything else, it'd be an outer layer stuff. There hasn't been anything that, like, speaks to me inner layer wise. Edge runner. Oh, this isn't too bad. Okay. Haven't I haven't I been up here? Isn't this where the fight Ooh, yes. <laughs> Isn't this where the melee fight takes place? It isn't the exact spot, but it was very similar. 